So this bike, we're going to try to get it a little quieter. I'm not sure that that's going to happen in this video, but we are going to go ahead and get that headlight on, get the turn signals on, get this thing buttoned up and go take it for a ride. I'm super stoked. Let's do that right now. Let's go! We just got back from the motorcycle shop and we got the new tires on this thing and I think they look really good. And I'm not building this bike for you guys. So if you don't like it, you just don't have to watch the video. I think they look really cool. They put the front fender back on. I'll probably take this off completely. I'm not sure. Or I'm gonna cut it so that I have this back part to help protect the um, radiator back here. But the plan is because this thing is all broken up and cracked and everything is kind of cracked on it and that kind of went there with this big old headlight this is cracked here that's broken that's really scuffed up so it definitely laid down and slid he must have replaced this that's cracked kind of messed up there that's all right for what we're doing with this bike it's going to be fine and then the fairings went on is just to leave it a street fighter style whatever you want to call it scrambler street fighter whatever and then we're going to put this guy on here instead and then i'm going to mount the cluster the original cluster right here it fits almost perfect so before i took it to the motorcycle shop i actually had done the mock-up so i actually put the whole front end on headlight cluster turn signals um, just to make sure that it was going to work right and look right um, i actually changed the turn signals out I bought some online that I do not like at all. Um, and I just took the ones off of the fairing and used the ones that were on the fairing. So they match the back ones, they're up here. They look great. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back on. I did get all my wiring buttoned up. I would have shown you all of that, but every headlight that you get is gonna have a different wire color code. So brown might be ground or green might be ground. And I didn't want to confuse anybody, so I didn't really want to get into how exactly I did it. But there's really good instructions. It's super easy to find your positive, negative, high, low, left, right, turn signals. These bikes are not complicated at all. All you need is just like a little wire tester that's got the light in it so you could see like this. Yeah, super basic. I'm going to go ahead and get started putting this thing together for the final time. I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of the video when I was mocking it up. Let's just get it together. I took some pictures so I know where everything's gonna sit again. And uh, I gotta put a little bit more tape on this. And other than that, I think we're ready to get started. So let's do it. So I bought these clamps on Amazon. So this one will hold the headlight. I have another set that goes up here that's gonna hold the turn signals and the bracket on the top. I'm just gonna get these things so they're a little snug. I still wanna be able to move them up and down a little bit left and right. So once I get the headlight in there and I get everything situated, I'll come out and I'll snug all that stuff down. All right, let's get this headlight on. I need to be able to have enough room to move it. So I'm too high on this right now. So I'm going to push both of these things down just a tad. And this is kind of another reason why you want to just kind of mock it up and make sure it's going to work. So I've got these holes here, so you can see there's, I'm gonna have my bracket here to hold the cluster. I've got this one going in the second one back. It's gonna have to eyeball it to where we think it's gonna actually be straight. I think they look so much better. They match the rear ones. I don't have to replace a bunch of stuff. The whole idea with this is try to make this bike look as cool as I want it to. And I know not all of you guys think this is cool, that's fine. But as cool as I want it to look, and sound and everything else without spending a whole bunch of money. The cluster that's, that came off of it right now, so it actually fits really well right here. So I'm gonna build a bracket that goes just a steel piece that bends down, bends down. It'll be adjustable this way. And these three screws will screw into it right here. So they'll be right about 
flush with the headlight here where this thing ends. And I think this is gonna look really cool. So this is what I was talking about with the cluster. I've got my turn signals. I've got my headlight plug right here. And then I've got my turn signals and a ground. And this ground is kind of working with the turn signal. So that works pulling ground for both this, this, and this. Because I'm not a fab guy and I don't have a lot of tools for making metal parts yet. If you guys keep subscribing someday, I might be able to. But right now I used zip ties and I just did a, I zip tied this kind of on an angle to the screw part and I tighten those up. It kind of is gonna make my turn signals turn in a little bit, but for what I'm trying to do right now, just so I can get it on the road, give it, give it a ride, see what it's like. I think we're okay. So right now, that's on there, that's on there, these are on there, everything is looking really good. We've got everything buttoned up, put together, wired in. Um, the only thing is that I don't like about this, and a lot of you guys are giving me a hard time about this, but I don't want it to be loud. It's so loud. Listen to this thing. I'm going to find a stock, and I know that might make it even a little bit slower, obviously, because you're not getting that airflow coming out. But I'm going to get the stock pipe that Honda had for this. Anyway, I think that this is the look I was looking for. I didn't really like that big fairing on here. It's a 250. It's not a fast bike. If you're doing a wheelie or something really cool, that's a different story. Because then you're like, yeah. But if you're just like going 20 miles an hour going, bah! I don't know why I decided I wanted this bike. But I do really like the style of it. It's just a cool street bike. I've only ridden this thing twice. The first time I rode it was from the guy that I bought it from's house to my house, which fortunately was only about four miles. But it was raining and it was cold and it was kind of half snowing and kind of a little bit icy slushy on the road. And I rode it all the way back here on bald tires. These tires that were on here before were just like, it was like a flat strip on the back. The dude had obviously just been doing burnouts and roasting his tires. And the front was completely wasted as well. These tires are meant for kind of a dual sport, 50-50-ish. So I have taken this off trail already accidentally just to try to get turned around. And I had no problem. I thought for sure I would have slid out, but these tires are amazing. I have them on the KPM, the same exact one. These are gonna handle everything that this motor is gonna be able to give it. Plus, if I decided to, I could go ride on a trail. I think that's kind of a great option. Now we got the fork seals done on this one, so they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm really excited. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take you for a ride. Mirrors are on, looking good. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Let's get this thing going. All right, guys. Okay, this is a 250. This feels like it's about twice as fast as that other bike I was on. Oh, let's see if we can get this gate to open. Oh no. So I don't have my gate opener. And I'm not heavy enough to open it. So let's get off road here. See how she does. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Little jump here. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh. Yeah! Ow! Ok, 
Okay, we got our clicker. Let's do it. This thing is so loud, but it's way faster than the 200, I can tell you that. truck behind me decided to go about as fast as I was going so I don't know if that's a cop getting ready to yoink me over because I'm so loud and so fast I don't know man overall I really like it I think that looks really cool I like this oh, I already got a scratch in it darn it but I do like that headlight I like the look of that that's really nice it looks better it's interesting that these ones don't have that kind of glow like these ones do these ones are like on all the time and then when you turn turn the turn signal they get brighter but yeah really like that it's looking good all right that's it for this video thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing if you guys like this kind of content hit the bell button and i will notify you every time i make a video and you'll see me in the next one let's go